Okay, sorry, I had to um, re-record it and delete some no, no storage. Um, so talking about how um, we're going to have to face God one day because He's everywhere. He's within us. He lives am among us. And that's that presence of I, I am, right? You can't avoid any anything is in this world without him knowing because he's he's you he's within you right he's he's part of you in your heart he lives in your heart and if we're being bad we get disconnected from that that's what the, the sacred heart of jesus represents okay so he lives in in uh in our heart and he's within us he lives among us that i am that i am he can never be depart from us. The only reason that it does, we tuned up or no, you tuned off from him is when you're doing bad, and and you will know if you're doing bad because you feel heavy, right? You feel, um, I don't know, you you feel you don't feel good. Uh, you, there's sort of like feelings that things will come into your head, and you will have a sleepless restless night and everything is off like there's a chaos there's hiccups with me especially i'm i love sleep like i i need my sleep um that's what keeps me going so i need a full sleep i want to i uh, sleep but let's say you know 10 and i wake up at five right and i want to not wake up until five but sometimes when i'm restless i will have to wake up but, but i'll go back to sleep easily so those indication that you know there's something off there's something wrong or if you're mad right or something like that that you're not doing good then that means that you're not following that the sacred heart of jesus that jesus came down here for out of his love he came down here that sacred heart there of jesus he came down here to pay for our sins right and no matter what he is in us he's we are part of him he's part of us we're all connected under one consciousness we're all connected so if we hurt one another it's gonna be chaos um the world is a broken world i would say this over and over again because it is and right now what's going on is making it worse you know everyone's um hurt you know everyone's really um emotionally distraught and everyone's um burdened by it everyone's um conform to to this scenario i would say too and um everyone's sort of distrusting you know the goodness and i, I think we should all come together and, and keep that in mind that there's goodness and god there's god among us and we can all do this if we spread love and forget about you know forgive and forget do all those things and realize that there's god maybe that's a big step i don't uh, i hate to go that route because i'm like again i'm i'm online doing this stuff because i can't do my service no longer to help people i'm very busy uh, for something i cannot disclose you know um so i'm just helping this way um but i hope i'm just a trigger for you guys to find your ways to connect to God or you find your ways to connect to yourself that's what the world says right that's if you if you just do your analyzation and you know those you know reroute you know on the map you know how those, those little I have three kids so I know you know to find the map you know um that's that's how it is you find you should be able to find yourself and that means you know you found God right um you can never live life with joy unless you have God. Every aspect of life will never be solid and um, happily and, and, and all that dandy, dandy, even with marriages or, or, or you know, a family, a family, for instance, the best example, right? Um, they, it will never flourish the way it is. It should be as a family if God is not the center of, of, of that relationship. So if both, both you know, both are blessed.